All right, everybody, we made it to pick 40. There was no trade up, so we are now on the clock, and we didn't have to give up anything to get on the clock, which I think is a win. I think that's a successful start to day two. I didn't think we needed to trade up, and based off what we've seen so far, we really didn't. Um, the only guys who went that I had high on my list were Brees Hall. It was a running back, you know. I, I liked him a lot, but running backs are running backs. Uh, Kyler Gordon and um, um, uh, Ebby Ketty. Ebby Ketty hurt a little bit. I really liked Ebby Ketty, but I think it's fine. And there are still a lot of guys I like here. Booth, Dean, Willis are all guys I expected to be late first rounders. So the fact that they're still here means the value is great. I'll tell you though, looking at what we have later in the draft, looking at what we have coming up on tap, I think my favorite scenario here would be to go Mafe or Travis Jones and then get the other one with the next pick. Uh, also open to Abraham Lucas, uh, who I don't have listed here, but that's an oversight on my part, probably. Uh, Falele, I'm open to N'Kobe Dean. I, um, I, a lot of things we could do here that I'm cool with. Um, if, if it is a quarterback, I'm going to have reservations about it, whoever it is. But I, I can get, I get it, and I can get behind it because I do think some of these quarterbacks have at least potential. I don't, especially at this pick, I don't hate any of them. All right, here we go. Goodell's coming out. What do we got? What do we got? Boy, a mafe, we did it. We did it, guys. We did it again. We hit. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. He was one of my favorite guys left. Given the fact that the edge crop starts to fall off around this point, he was probably the guy I wanted more than anybody. Let's go. Boy Mafe. We didn't trade up to get him. I liked him more than Abby Ketty. It was close, but I liked him more. This is a guy with a ton of potential. He's going to get exponentially better over the next few years. Um, I, I, I don't think he's tapped out at all. I, I don't think he's even been playing football for that long. I think he's going to be a great edge rusher to team up with um, um, Daryl Taylor. And I, I don't know what he's going to give us in year one. I'll say that straight up. I don't know. He's a guy who is all potential, not a lot of production yet. But Boy Mafe was one of my favorite guys in this draft. I'm super excited that we took him. And I got to say that based off this first pick, it's it, this day two is off to a wonderful start in my view. We're getting everything right. You guys know that I'm not a big fan of this front office. I'm not a big fan of this staff, but I think we are getting pretty much everything right so far. Um, there were guys who I think had more value at 40, but Mafe was the guy that I really coveted given what the rest of the draft looks like. So we're picking again now, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, but I am very happy, very excited. Uh, looks like our 41 pick is about to be in, so I'll see you guys in a second.